Hello everyone. In the previous sessions, we have discussed about in detail about Docker containers, their applications, comparison of a Docker with the virtual machines, VM machines, and uh, Docker architecture and different uh, parts of Docker architecture. In the today's session, we will be discussing about Docker desktop and CLI command line interface using which we can interact with the Docker desktop and Docker repository. So let's begin with the demo. Previously, we have installed a Docker desktop application on our system. So I'll just start by uh, launching Docker desktop application on this machine. So let's launch Docker. So here, if I hit enter, it will take some time and will load Docker desktop on the system. So Docker desktop has successfully started. Uh, we will interact with this desktop using the UI facility as well as the CLI facility. Let's begin interacting with the Docker desktop and Docker daemon. As previously, uh, we have discussed about the Docker uh, components. Here we have Docker containers. Container is the instance uh, which is running for against the images that we have uh, downloaded from the Docker Hub. So here I have one image, HTTPD, uh, which we have fetched from the Docker Hub. And against that image, we have created one container. What we will do is, uh, we completed this uh, activity using the uh, UI. Uh, in the session number four, we have see, uh, shown you how to use uh, UI facility Docker desktop GUI to complete this. Today's session we will uh, do the same activity using the command line interface. For that, I will open up the command prompt of Windows. To interact with the Docker and uh, Docker daemon and get the desired uh, uh, work done from the Docker daemon, the Docker command is available for us. Now, uh, in the UI part, there are two major main things that we have discussed. One is images, wherein the images we download from the Docker Hub and against the images, we launched the container. So, from the CLI, we will start with the same point. We will first of all try to list all the images which are available on the local host by executing a command docker images. Here you will find that uh, as right now I have only one image on the system, docker images command is listing the exact same image. Point to be noted is there is a image ID and it is also showing how old the image is and what is the size of the image tag it indicates that there might be multiple versions of the httpd image available and out of these multiple uh, versions we are using the latest version of the httpd now if i want to list containers i will type docker ps here, there is no output because right now there is no executing or running container on my computer. If I click on the UI part and if I go to the containers part here, you will find that there is one container, but under the running container, it says that no running containers are available. If I click, uh, if I enable this flag, which says only show running containers, the only container which was visible in the list is also now not available. How you can do the same thing using the CLIs? This is flag on, which is hiding all the containers except those who are running. If we want to list all the containers, type ps a. Now it has listed the container which is available on, on my computer, but it is in the dormant state. It's not in the running state. 
Now let us locate one image on the docker hub and then we will execute a docker pull command to bring that image on the local machine and launch a container against it. For that purpose, I will open up a browser or I can make use of docker desktop and search utility provided in the docker uh, desktop util. Let us type uh, python that We might be in the need of a python. Here I have uh, this python image. If I click on this, it will give me uh, the details of the repository. Clicking on the pull command will bring the python repo on the computer. Now what if we want to uh, download this python repo using the command prompt? For that, what we will do is open up a browser and search for Docker Hub. On the results listed by search engine, you will click on Docker Images URL. It will take you to the Docker Hub repository. Here, I will select official images. And this is the list of the images which are available. Let us, uh, we downloaded a python image using the docker or desktop. Now what if I want to take this image and use it in my computer. So what I can do is now I can copy this command and execute it on my command prompt. So, docker pull python, if I hit enter, it will say using default tag as latest, that means I am trying to download a latest image. It will verify whether the same tag image is available on the system or not. And if the image is not available, as you can see, it has proceeded with the downloading of the image. And now, the docker image is available. Python image of uh, which is created for the docker is now available on computer. Let us list all the images which are available on the system. So, you will find that there are two images available. One is python and one is httpd. If I execute docker run command instead of executing docker pull command and if the image is not available, the first of all docker daemon will interact with the docker hub uh, repository and will fetch down the image on the laptop and then it will create a container against it. Let us try. For that, I will select another client or another image which is not present on my computer. So, here uh, we have Postgres and Postgres is right now not deployed on this computer and here the command to get is uh, docker pull Postgres. I will copy it. Let us go back to the command prompt. I will replace pull with the run. Now, pull command fetch the image on the system, but do not create a container against the image which is fetched. Docker run command will however do two things. First, it will check whether the image is available on the system or not. If the image is available, it will directly create a container against the image and will start execution. If the image is not available, however, it will fetch the image from the Docker Hub uh, repository and then it will create a container against it. Now, we have listed all the images and we know that the Postgres image is not available on the system and we are trying to execute the run command against Postgres image. When we hit enter, the docker daemon, uh, docker CLI will communicate with the docker daemon to launch a container of Postgres and the docker container knows that 
the Postgres image is not available locally. So it says that unable to find image Postgres colon latest, which is a tag locally. And the communication of a Docker daemon with the Docker Hub repository has started. It will begin the process of pulling the image of Postgres from the Docker Hub. Let it finish pulling the image from the Docker Hub repository. As you can see that the pulling of the image is completed and now the docker has begun with the extraction of the files. As soon as the extraction completes, it will launch the container against the image of Postgres. So docker is about to launch a container. So the process of pulling progress uh, Postgres image on the machine is completed. In the next video, we will look up removing uh, images and containers using CLI. Thank you.